Pretty tough show today. We uh, talked. We just we talked to a guy who uh, is telling our studio audience here, and as you can see, our studio audience is made up entirely of kids. Uh, these these guys are gang members, and the one guy we met in the first segment, his name's Goldie. He admits to killing 15 people. Um, scary story. Let me just ask you one more question, Goldie, and then I'm going to move on to our other guest. How do you kill somebody? Explain the process that you go through when you do it. It depends on how I want to do it. My, first, my specialty is walking up to you, looking at you dead in the eye, walk away, come back to you, be like, say something stupid like, you got a cigarette? That's very stupid to say, but I'm going to say it anyway, because I'm going to do a stupid thing by killing you. Then, bang, it's either in the chest or the face. I'd rather shoot you in the chest, because when you're on the ground to me, you know what I'm saying, I'm standing over you like, that's a, that's a pretty sight. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm going to face to the east and hit my chest like whatever else I'm going to say out of my mouth. You All know right. what I'm saying? Okay. Hey. Your mom must be proud of you right now. This is awful. Hey, if she's proud of me, God loves you, mom. Yeah. I want you to meet, I want you to meet John, Miko, Jeeper, <laughs> and uh, we also have Lawyer and Eva. All right. I'm going to get to your kids' questions in just a second. Let me ask here, John, Miko, and Jeeper, you guys kind of hang together. Maybe you heard the stories that he talked about before. He admits to going around killing people. Uh, I said to him, I don't like you. If I went up to you and I said, boy, those are silly looking pants, that would be grounds to kill someone. Yeah. Tell me your story. You agree with that? Hell yeah. You know, you disrespect me, you come to me in a way that I don't like, I'm going to handle you. Whatever way I got to. Whatever, however way I got to. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? You just, I mean, somebody, you know, you know, I got, you know, it depends what I got right, because, you know, if I got something to lose, you know, like a lot of money or something, I ain't gonna do all that, you know, I'll, I'll have somebody else do it. Or I'll do it myself, whatever gets me off, you know? You get the pleasure doing it yourself. Yeah. You could honestly sit here and tell these kids this is the right way to live. Boys and girls be just like oh, me. I ain't, saying this, I ain't saying it's the right way to live, but what I am saying, man, you got to do what you got to do. You make the choice. You know, you can make a right, you can make a wrong choice. You know, that whatever you do, I ain't telling you what's right or wrong. I ain't nobody's daddy. I'm just telling you, you know, what about me. I have two questions. I want to know, how do you guys feel when you out killing people? Don't you feel, don't you feel even... Any hey, you know what? I, 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 you tell, I ain't no killer, okay? I mean, what I do, I do, but don't refer to me as a killer, because I ain't a killer. Okay, just you know? the first, so you're referring to, uh, referring to Goldie. Goldie's the killer. He killed 15 people. Don't you, don't you feel anything killing 15 people? You know, that's a good question. <laughs> Go ahead. That's a good question. If I had remorse of killing a person, it would never made it to 15. And for all y'all out who don't know what remorse is, if I keep thinking about it like, dang, did I do that? I wouldn't have made it to 15. It's probably over 15. I stopped counting at 15. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get me or I'm gonna get you. It's simple as that. You really believe that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I ain't You don't believe no it one day, if you live this long, you're 50 years old, you're going to look back and say, geez, I was a wild guy, but that was really yeah, stupid. Yeah, I might do that. I might think that, man, but it's like once you get in, you're in to win, you know? Yeah, I mean, man, it's like them, but... And I can't see faded. I don't see, I don't see tomorrow, man. I don't see a week from now. I see today and whatever I got to do today. If someone come in my face talking crazy and I got a gun, they dying. You came you know? too far to go on and too far not, you know, you came too far in life, too deep. Yes. Uh... You thought, didn't you join the game in 13, right? Yes. You ain't worried about getting killed? No. Well, my auntie, he, my, I mean, my uncle, he was in the game. I, well, after I told him Jesus loved him, he went on to church. When, when you hear a, a little girl telling you that, doesn't that make you think, you know, she, here I am, I'm older than her, more worldly, but she's right, huh? She's right, she's right, but this is my way. I ain't heard, I haven't heard no kid and I don't plan to, but the life I live is the life I choose, and no one's gonna change it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Okay, you all know the saying, what goes around comes around, what you do to people will eventually come back on you, so it's gonna come back on y'all one day. Did you ever get 
getting shot. Or you think you was in the gang? Did you ever get shot since you've been in the gang? I came three times of coming real close of losing my life. Three okay. drive-bys in one month. Well, the point is, you're now on national te television. Everyone's going to know your face. Um, it's been, it's, you know, that's, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Because ain't no more hard enough to do what we're doing up here on the stage, showing our faces. Uh, I'm all the way up to the fullest. I'm telling you right now. You know what I'm saying? You want to see my face at the super malls, the this and that, the plaza? I hope you do, because when you do, you're going to be laying like the other 15 or the other else that I did. Up on the ground, visiting and having the bug. You know what I'm saying? Looking up like, damn, did I do that? Yes, you did. You stepped the line. So you pay the price. Yeah, it ain't like nobody just gets killed for no reason, man. And it, it ain't like y'all say that. What goes around comes around. I, I got into the gang. I did what I did because I was tired of being looked down on. I came from a poor family, and my mom moved to a, you know, a, a better neighborhood because she didn't want us to grow up in that neighborhood. And I was, you know, I was discriminated against. And I got sick of that. I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to be the one in charge now, and that's what I did. I never was born in a poor family. I had what I had to have, you know what I'm saying? But to me, when I saw what, I, what, what was out there, I was like, man, I want to be a part of that. You don't say more than anything. Well, you know, there's a way to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? To so work like everyone else does. We'll be right back. Stay with us.